mathematicians. Today we're going to be learning about linear inequalities and more specifically we're going to be working with word problems that have linear inequalities. So if you recall back to our previous video, remember that if we have a greater than or less than sign then we're going to draw a dotted line. If we have a greater than or equal to or a less than or equal to sign, we're going to draw a solid line. Okay, so this is very important because if we're looking at a graph, we need to know if these points are included or not included. So if it's a dashed line, the coordinates are not included, but if it's a solid line, then these points are included as part of the solution. So here we have our first word problem. And it reads, Jimmy and his family go to the state fair. At the state fair, Jimmy only goes on the roller coaster and Ferris wheel. The roller coaster is five tickets per ride, and the Ferris wheel is three tickets per ride. In total, he has 30 tickets, but does not want to use up all of them. So, if we look at our coordinate or even just our problem, we could represent the number of times he goes on the roller coaster with x. And the number of times he goes on the Ferris wheel, we could represent it using y. So we know that the roller coaster is five tickets per ride, and the Ferris wheel is three tickets per ride. So if he goes on the roller coaster, that's going to be five tickets times the number of times he goes on the roller coaster. And if he goes on the Ferris wheel, it's going to be three tickets times the number of times he goes on the Ferris wheel. So in total, he has 30 tickets, but does not want to use up all of them. So he wants to, so the number of tickets that he uses on both these rides is going to be less than 30. It would only be less than or equal to 30 if he was planning on using um, up to 30 tickets, but he does not want to use all of them, meaning he could use up less than 30 tickets. So here we have our inequality, and again, x represents the number of times he goes on the roller coaster, and y represents the number of times he goes on the Ferris wheel. So if we look at our inequality here, if it had an equal sign, this would be the same thing as an equation in standard form, but this time it's just an inequality in standard form. And in order to graph it, the easiest way is to find the x and the y-intercept. So, if we want to find the y-intercept, we have to substitute x for 0. So we're going to have 5 times 0 plus 3y is less than 30. And we know that 5 times 0 is just 0. So we're going to solve this as we normally would. So here we have 3y is less than 30. And in order to get y by itself, we have to divide both sides by 3. So we have y is less than 10. 
So here, our y-intercept, when, when we substitute it in x for 0, our y is less than 10, so we could actually plot that point. So 0, 10. And then we're going to do the same thing, except this time we're going to get our x-intercept. And so we're going to have 5x plus, this time we're going to substitute y for 0, so 3 times 0 is less than 30. Now 3 times 0 cancels out, so we're left with 5x is less than 30. In order to get x by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 5. That cancels out, so we have x is less than 6. So again, we're going to plot that point. We know that y is 0 and x is 6, so 6, 0. And now because we have a less than sign, we're going to use a dashed line, so a dotted line here. So here we have our dotted line. And what this dotted line represents is that any coordinate on this line will not be a solution because it does not include it because our sign is less than. So now we have to test if a coordinate is true or not. So the easiest coordinate that we could pick is 0, 0. So we could substitute x and y for 0, 0. So 5 times 0 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, is less than 30. So this is true. So we know that this coordinate here is true. And what that means in this problem is if he goes on 0 roller coaster rides and if he goes on 0 ferris wheel rides then that would be less than 30 tickets because that would be 0 tickets and 0 is less than 30. So let's just test another coordinate just to be sure. So we could use any coordinate we want. Uh, for example, z um, 7, 0. And this x value is 7 and this y value is 0. So we're going to have 5 times 7. Plus 3 times 0 is less than 30. So we have 5 times 7, which is 35. 3 times 0 is 0. So 35 plus 0 is just 35. 35 is less than 30. That is not true. And that is why this coordinate here does not work out. because if he were to go on the roller coaster seven times and on the Ferris wheel zero times, that would be 35 tickets, and that's well over the 30 tickets that he has. So, 
in this problem here, since 0, 0 is true, we're going to shade. So anything that's highlighted here would be any possible combination that would um, be less than 30 tickets. So for example, if he rode the roller coaster one time and the Ferris wheel seven times, that would be, so the roller coaster is five tickets, so five times one. plus 3 times 7 so the number of tickets would have to be less than 30 5 times 1 is 5 3 times 7 is 21 5 plus 21 is 26 and that is less than 30 so that is true. Any coordinate that we could find in this highlighted area would be true and it would be the combination of times it would take for him to spend less than 30 tickets. If our coordinate is on this line it is not true because it is a dotted line and that's why we have a less than sign. So for example here on our line, we have the coordinate 0, 10. And I'm just going to prove to you that if it's on this line, it's not going to be true. So we have 5 times 0 plus 3 times 10. So 5 times 0 is 0, plus 3 times 10 is 30, so that 0 plus 30 is just 30. But 30 is not less than 30, it's equal to. So anything on this line will equal 30, and because it's less than 30, it would not be true. And so that's it for this problem. So here we have another problem and it reads, the Spanish club has a fundraiser goal of $60, which students will try to meet or exceed by selling two different types of chocolate bars. A regular chocolate bar is being sold for $3 and a caramel chocolate bar is being sold for $4. Okay, so we have two types of chocolate bars. On my coordinate, I already made the regular chocolate bar X and the caramel chocolate bars Y. So X represents the number of regular chocolate bars. And Y represents the number of caramel chocolate bars. Okay. 
So we know that a rec regular cho chocolate bar is being sold for $3 per chocolate bar. So we have 3x because it's $3 times the number of regular chocolate bars. And then we have $4 times y because the caramel chocolate bars are $4 each. And the Spanish club the students want to meet or exceed. So whatever they get in sales, they want to either exceed the $60 or meet it. So be equal to the $60. And so just like our previous problem, if this had an equal sign, it would just be in standard form. So we're going to graph it as we normally would uh, a problem that is just a standard form equation. So in order to do that, we're going to substitute our x for 0 to get our y-intercept and substitute our y for 0 to get our x-intercept. So three times zero is just zero. So we end up with four y is greater than or equal to 60. In order to get y by itself, we're going to divide both sides by four. So y is greater than or equal to 15. So that's our y-intercept. The x is 0 and the y is 15. So I'm just going to plot that up here. And so we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to substitute the y for 0 to get our x-intercept. So we'll have 3x plus 4 times 0 is greater than or equal to 60. And so now we have 3x because 4 times 0 is 0. So 3x is greater than or equal to 60. In order to get x by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 3. And so x is greater than or equal to 20. So our y value is 60, our x value is 20, so that's our x-intercept. And so because we have greater than or equal to, we're going to have a solid line. All right, so now we're going to see where we're going to shade. So the easiest point that we could test out is going to be 0, 0. So three times 0 plus 4 times 0 is greater than or equal to 60. So 3 times 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0. So 0 is greater than or equal to 60. And this is not true. So so we're not going to shade below the line. And we're just going to pick another point just to make sure. So again, we could pick any point we want. And so for example, we could pick the point right here, 22. So the x value is 20 and the y value is 2. So 3 times 
20 plus 4 times 2 is greater than or equal to 60. So 3 times 20 is 60. 4 times 2 is 8. 60 plus 8 is 68, which is greater than or equal to 60. It's actually greater than, so this coordinate is true. And so we're going to shade above the line then. So because we have a solid line this time, any coordinate that is on the line should make this inequality true. So we're just going to test one out. So this coordinate does lie on the line. And the coordinate is 0, 15. And so that would be 3 times 0 plus 4 times 15 and that should be because it's on the line it should be equal so 3 times 0 is 0 4 times 15 is 60 and that is equal. So any coordinate on the line is equal. Any coordinate below the line is not true. And any coordinate in this highlighted region is true because the Spanish club's goal is to raise $60 or more. So if they sell these number, this number of chocolates on the line, then they would have sold exactly $60 worth of chocolates. If they sold anything in the highlighted region, that would mean they sold more than $60, which would still make this inequality true. And that's it.